everyone and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, I'm Letty, welcome. This is Letty Sparkle. I'm a crazy makeup person from England. I live in Bournemouth and I love all things makeup. So if you love makeup too, consider subscribing to my channel, hit the notification bell so you don't miss what I'm posting. Um, today's, we're gonna be playing with the Friends Revolution. Um, this is just the one with eyeshadow palette, no name for it. Um, I kind of created this eye look, went a bit bold and crazy with it. Um, but yeah, to see how I got this look, what I think of the palette and then please just keep on watching, thank you. Hello, so we've seen by the title, we're playing with this palette today. And the intro, to be fair. So it's my dad's birthday today, so we're just gonna go over a little bit later on for a bit of dinner. So I like the packaging of this one, it's like metal which is quite nice. It's very sturdy and it's got a nice big mirror. And here's the pattern, and you've seen this already because it's quite old now. But that's what it looks like. It's gorgeous. Very pretty. It's got all the names of all the characters, like a lot of characters from the um, series, which is quite cool. I might do like a pinky kind of look. Don't know, we'll see how it goes. So I'm gonna start off with not many like deep deep um colors so i'm gonna start with mr gala and go with a brown i'm just gonna place that on my lid i've primed already with the p louise base in rumor two as i always do and then i'm just gonna kind of blend this out pretty pigmented how are we all sorry i have not let me just bring it a bit closer up so you can see what actually see what I'm doing to my eye. Um, I've not really been posting and for a couple of weeks just because I've not really been in the right mood. I don't know what's wrong with me, but um, I was in a really flat place. I've not posted a product. I'm just blending it out with a clean brush. Um, I've just kind of been in a kind of weird place where I'm not really in the mood for okay that's blended up quite nicely isn't it uh i haven't been mid to film or to play with makeup or anything like that um and last few videos i think i've been a bit flat so i didn't want to film because i kind of wanted to be back to like my normal self and i kind of feel like that i've just come off my four day training with mac and and I can't believe that I'm, it's even possible that I am like a mad girl. It's madness. Yeah, so I feel, I was feeling very motivated. I've done, I did a P. Louise, not P. Louise, I did a Stacey Marie makeup look, which is on my TikTok, which I'll po post a, a pop, I'll pop a link to my TikTok down below if you want to see it. Um, I forgot to take pictures. By the time I remembered, I'd already taken my makeup off. Uh, so I just filmed that so my eyelids are a little bit pink and a little bit purple because of that. Uh, that's a gorgeous transition colour and it blends out really really beautifully. Uh, and to blend it out I just kind of did wipe, wipe motions which I learned on matte training. Uh, my eyelids are a little bit sore though I'm not going to lie. And then I'm going to go in with like a fluffier brush. Something like this. This is an um, Sigma E40. And I'm going to go into the shade Paolo which is this kind of orangey brownie colour there. And I'm gonna kind of go just above on my crease just to kind of warm that up a little bit. Same on this side. It's really um, difficult to kind of go from doing run and round to kind of go whipper, whipper, whipper? <laughs> wiper motions. But actually it does work really, really well. That's just brought a little bit of warmth into into my eyes. I'm gonna go back in with the same brush I used originally, back into that Mr. Geller, and pop that in the outer corner, just to bring a bit more depth into that. And then go back in with the brush to kind of blend out. Try and put in this orange which is Phoebe 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 and I'm gonna put it like in the middle maybe I'm not sure 
where this is going. Anyway, but yeah, so I really want to be really creative and work on my art. Um, because this is what I love to do. And I've just got to kind of think of it and just enjoy it. Because sometimes I think we get caught up in all the like life stuff that we kind of forget that why we do things. Um, yeah, my lid, my lid's here a bit stained from the um, I use the Be Perfect and Taste Marie palettes. I've got three of them out of the four, so I don't have. I think I have one, three, and four. I don't have number two. Um, I'm then gonna go in with. I might cut my crease. I'm gonna do that. It's gonna be a bit more stuff on my eye. Yeah, then I'm gonna cut my crease. So for that, I'm gonna use a little bit of the P. Louise Roma and uh, Acid Rain P. Louise Base. I'm just gonna pop some on the bottom of the eyelid, and then look up just so that I. Oh God. I think that's a bit big, but I'm just going to do a half a cut crease, just like that. Same on this side. I might go in with Mind, uh, maybe a bit of a mixture of Fun Bobby, which is this one here. Fun Bobby and Janice, which is that one there. I think they're quite a good match. I've just put my fingers in it. So I'm just going to start with Fun Bobby. Just in the inner part of my eye. It's a really pretty shade. Quite very, very pigmented, considering I've not put anything on it. Like, I've not wet it or anything. It's really pigmented. And the um, matte shadows are actually really quite buttery. Hmm, love that. Other side of this brush, I'm gonna go into that Janice shade, which is a bit more coppery. Oh, that is beautiful. Look into Fun Bobby just to blend those two together. Wow, you can see that, it's so beautiful. So pretty. I'm gonna go into Mindy and kind of place that on top of the two just to bring them together that is gorgeous they're very similar colors to be honest but um i like that and then i'm gonna go back in with a little bit with this brush here a bit into mr geller and just pop a little bit on the outer and that in and then what i might do is take in so i've went into mindy i went into a bit of mindy as well and then i'm gonna go into a little bit of chandler there just kind of like a browny kind of shade with a smaller brush just this brush again actually and just kind of apply a little bit on the end here just to kind of blend that in with the brown that's already on the lid and then i'm going to use this brush just to kind of blend very very gently all of that together <laughs> I like that, and that looks really pretty. So I'm gonna go into my face, and then we'll come back for liner and mascara and all that good stuff. I'll see you shortly. Okay, so that's my face all done. I'm just gonna come back and do the under eyes. Um, I'm gonna just use the same colors and kind of reverse them under my eye. I'm just gonna take like a small, I've used all my, I cleaned all my brushes last night, and most of them are already dirty. Take a small brush like this and we're going to go into Mr. Geller, which is that brown shade we use, and just take that underneath the eye, but just kind of do it like three quarters of the way. Hmm, okay, and then I'm going to go in with the orange, same brush, uh, actually I'm going to go for a smaller brush. Where's my going to Phoebe which is that orange and I'm gonna go in it like in the middle bit here okay and then I'm gonna go into this is a Jaclyn Hill X Morphe JH40 I'm gonna go into the shade called Pablo just that kind of warm brown I'm just gonna take that underneath just to kind of blend all that out these shadows blend so 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 nicely I'm really really impressed Okay, and that's pretty much the under eyes done. <laughs> not that easy, was it? That hard. I'm gonna go, um, do I wanna do liner? 
Yeah, I think I do. So I'm going to do some liner. And I'm going to use my MAC um, Brush Stroke Liner. It's called Brush Black Brush Stroke 24 Hour Liner. So I'm going to, I did my training and I just like to do this. So to do like proper eyeliner, you have to kind of look forward mirror and then follow your lash line upwards and do like a line. And how long the line is will determine how dramatic your eyeliner is. So I'm just going to go up. like that so it's got a little line there. I'm just going to bring it a bit closer there we go so like this and that's the line there and that basically means that's the angle I'm going to aim to do my eye liner in and um, the next step this is actually a bit high I think might be all right I have like a fold there so the next step is you go like this and you kind of take the corner and then draw a line towards the pupil so towards about the middle of your lash line like oh not like so like so it's going to be quite dramatic by the looks of it it wasn't what I was intending and then draw the line from your lid to meet that one okay I'm just going to fill that in this is way more dramatic than I was wanting it to go. What I'm going to do now is because I want it to be a bit pointier. I'm just going to take that and just kind of point it. Oh, sugar. Okay, I don't want it to be that long, but that's kind of happened. So, like so. And that's the liner. It's a lot higher than I wanted. It's really, really quite high. But it will have to do. And then let me. Try and match it up on this side now. Okay, this side's way more dramatic than this side. So I'm gonna try and match them up. Okay, I'm gonna have to do some clearing up in a minute. So it's looking very dramatic. Just done a little flick here just to kind of give it a little bit of life because it's a bit thick and scary. Okay, so I kind of how it's looking. It does look cool. I'm gonna have to put some uh, mascara on um, and I'll be right back. So I know I said I wanted to be creative, but um, yeah, I'm loving it. Look, I think that looks really cool. I mean, the eyeliner is a bit, oh, sorry. <laughs> the eyeliner is definitely a bit more dramatic than I was intending it to happen. Um, but I really, really like it. I'm just gonna put a little bit of something from my brows, just cause I think they're a bit um, pale. And I'm gonna put a little bit of gloss on. I'm gonna put a Charlotte, Charlotte Tilbury gloss on. But this is the finished look, so it looks pretty cool, I think. I do like how it looks. The palette is lovely. It's such a nice palette to work with. The matte shades are like butter. They blend really, really easily. Um, the shimmers are gorgeous. No wetness, no nothing. Pop straight on the brush, not even use my fingers, um, which I like to do with a lot of shimmers. Um, and yeah, I love the final look. I think it looks great. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give me a huge big thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and I shall see you in my next one. Thank you, bye-bye.